Yeah, how are you? Gil, how are you, mate? Nice meeting you. Hello and welcome to RSA 2023. We're in San Francisco for the RSA conference. My name's Chris Cubbage. I'm the editor with the Australian Cybersecurity Magazine. Gil Shulman, the VP of Product with WIB. Thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you for having me. Uh, we had breakfast yesterday. Uh, yes, we on a briefing with you guys. Uh, API security, uh, and it's a critical area. Really, I really did enjoy that briefing. Uh, I, I was a little bit that. late, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, just talk us through API security and what WIB is doing. Because uh, I think ho hopefully out of this interview, we'll just highlight how critical and vulnerable uh, APIs are. Absolutely. So in order, we see APIs keeps on growing and growing and growing. Akamai has been talking about that over 81%, 90, 91% of their traffic is API traffic. Yep. And it keeps on growing and growing. And there are con a lot of blind spots in the application security programs running from development up to incident response. Now, we came with the approach saying, we don't want to just to give you API security in code or in testing or in real time. We want to give you API security. So we created this unified platform, an end-to-end -end platform taking into account the lens of code analysis, the lens of API testing, the lens of real-time traffic analysis, and bringing it together through Fusion. So just now, we, we announced Fusion Defense taking it beyond the automated and continuous inventory of all APIs. We are taking it beyond to account for all authentication, authorization, OSP API top 10 2019, 2023, and then logic attacks and beyond. So we want just to turn on the light for organization when it comes to API, instead of going through multiple cycles to identify this tool and this tool and get yeah. that, that team on board and that team on board. We just, it just needs to work because we don't have time to wait until there's going to be an incident. So what would be slightly different from, from the normal traditional approach, but when you say fusion, yeah. uh, it's a good word. What, what's Thank it you. actually doing? What's the, what's the difference there in that so, respect? So imagine, for example, two, the two sides of the equation. The beginning, the code, the developers. Yep. This is what in theory should be out there, right? So it's a, it's a source of information telling us those are all the APIs developed in the organization. But through CICD, through different tooling, you can know where those APIs are actually at. Is it in development? Is it in pre-production? Is it actually in production? Yep. And so this is the first lens, but it's a theoretical lens. On top of that, you need to continuously build. You need to have the real-time lens of how people are actually using or in security, from a security perspective, abusing it. Got it. Um, and how we can actually allow enable those different organization to have the information and the tools to respond to, to API threats without having this built-in exposure window of a quarter, which is probably the, the shortest duration between pen testing and red team exercises, yep. plus detection, plus respond, and eliminating this built-in exposure window. And we can see it all over the world. I just came from Singapore talking with CSA and, and, and other organizations where they already have guidelines in place. And WIB helps just flip the switch and enable and, and support all those different guidelines to allow organizations not to, to stand in front of the press explaining <laughs> why yeah. that they didn't meet the acceptable risk levels. Well, one of the key things is having an API sort of talking to the internet, so to, so to speak. Sure. Is this like an agent as well that goes out and hunts down those APIs that might be on the network as well and lets you know? Because that's one yeah. of the key vulnerabilities if you don't know what that API Absolutely. is actually doing. So, you know, I, I, I like saying that when it comes to API in many cases, or API blind spot, it's an epistemological question. Yeah. How do I know what I don't know? Or yeah. what is the source of information here? So when we're looking, by using multiple lenses, we can know what, we should, what should be out there and what we can actually see. So if we don't see anything, if we don't see an API, API traffic of, let's say, endpoints that should be out there, it can either mean those are zombie APIs, meaning endpoints that should be deprecated, yep. and, but still, for some reason, part they're of they're the attack surface. Yeah. But on the other hand, it also might mean that you have blind spot that in, in the ingress and egress traffic that you're not monitoring, and it's a blind spot. It's a way for attackers to find their way in. So 
it's not just about identifying you know, the next OWASP API top 10 vulnerability, it's about tightening the grip on, on, on APIs. And tightening the grip on APIs also allows the business to move fast because they don't need to continuously think about or worry yeah. or being paranoid about, am I actually covering everything? Or, and uh, am I actually covering everything? Am I under attack? Yep. So if you're just looking at, you know, I don't know, real-time traffic analysis, this is the last line of defense. You need to make sure that you are catching the attacker every single time. We are saying, no, you need to have multiple lenses and you need to have multiple prevention points and give the different teams across the value chain the opportunity to respond. So if we identify vulnerabilities in code, developers need to deal with that. If the, that specific risk is an acceptable risk and got pushed to production, vulnerability management should know about that. If we start seeing traffic going against yeah. it, SOC should know about it, it. but not before that. Yep. So we just need to flip the switch and enable them to, to do their job not just wait and hope that we are okay. Until afterwards. Okay, look, that really that makes a lot of sense. Tell us about the company. It's an Israeli-based company. Absolutely. Uh, where have you, you come to the US? I take it this isn't your first RSA? No, it's, I've been doing RSAs <laughs> for 20 years now. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's uh, since the 90s. Yeah, uh, since, don't yeah. think back too far. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. oh, Tell us about uh, the... the it, e it just got me sad <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and you got some announcements this week as well? Yeah, so... Yeah, so rather than Fusion? So Fusion Defense, yep. we have our solution is, uh, is a unified solution. So we, we don't separate the engines, we bring them together, and we continuously building values on top of that. So the first module that we released on top of our platform was vis complete visibility. The first, in order to defend something, I need to know that it's there. Yep. So we, exp we created a continuous and automated way to create and map all APIs, the biz their business impacts, PIIs, who is responsible for it in development versus who is responsible for it in, in SAC ops. So all those flows can be in short, in, in short order. Yep. I think it's the right way of saying what's it. What's your English. exposure in Asia Pacific? You mentioned Singapore just briefly. Yeah, so, so we are, Look, we are we, we are currently focusing in Singapore. Got it. Um, but but we are going. But we are talking with Japan. We are working in Japan and in other countries right. in the region as well. All right. Well, look, we're on the last day of RSA uh, here. It's a beautiful sunny day, so no doubt yeah. uh, this is some 21st uh, RSA for you. Yeah. Uh, but Gil Schulman, the VP of Product for Wib, I yeah. uh, look forward to hearing much more about it. It's definitely a company to watch. First time I'd heard yeah, of you guys it. today. Uh, and yeah, so welcome and thank you for joining us on My Security TV. Thank you for having me, Chris. Good man. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you.